Good morning, I'm John Fain in the Melbourne ABC studios. Hello and welcome to the second series of Wise Up. You've probably heard quite a few bad things about lawyers lately. In fact, I confess some of them you may even have heard from me. Oh, yeah. oh I'm <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. How long have you been working on that gag, John? And it's one of many stories, and I, look, as someone who grew up... Oh, stop crawling. ...of an era. Well, thanks for joining us. That's all there's time for today, but I hope you'll be with us next week when we have a look at the law and sex. Most people wouldn't be seen dead driving around in a car like this, but I love it. John and I know each other well enough to know where the line is drawn and to cross it from time to time. Um, I used to point out to him that uh, I understood that he would be shedding much of the audience that I had provided, but that's okay. And good morning, John Fay. Morning, Red. Did you have to pay school fees? I was one of those students who had a Commonwealth scholarship. Did oh. you get one of them? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What do you mean, course? Because I'm really smart. How are we supposed to know that? The way you carry on. And you watch television. I'm Australia's third brainiest comedian. According to what? Well, it hasn't been on yet. According to some quiz show? Yeah. No, there's smart and there's smart. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about smart. I'm clever. I'm not smart. Yeah, right. If I was smart, I'd be rich. No, sorry. I'm talking about wise. Let's, let's get back wise? to Wise? Oh, forget that. You can leave that out, yeah. <laughs> John has craft and efficiency. Um, and one learns to appreciate that more and more after you've been in the business longer and longer and you see lesser people attempting the same thing. He's good at what he does. Good morning, Maureen. Welcome. Good morning, John. I don't know if you're welcome me. Got no empathy whatsoever for the people of Hayfield. Uh, Maureen, wood, what I do... No, 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 I haven't finished. No, you the clearly haven't. Goes, <laughs> the wood company goes. The wood company goes. Yeah. And that's got a knock-on effect everybody else that's got a business. Go yeah, on, sure. off you go. Okay, thank you. It's not whether I do or don't have an opinion, Maureen. My job is to think of the uh, most difficult questions that the, uh, the, oh, I know the sceptical listener forever. would want yeah. me to ask and whether, yeah. it's, whether it's this minister or her predecessors from the other side of politics, each side accuses me of being too harsh on their friends and I'm quite happy to plead guilty to being an equal opportunity mongrel. Maureen, I'll give everyone a hard time. It's impossible to imagine this city without John. I mean, we're all going to have to you know, deal with that impossibility and come to imagine other wonderful things. But he's been uh, just integral. He is talking to everybody in this town, from talkback callers to the Premier, um, on a weekly basis. And the Premier, Jeff Kennett, joins me. Good morning to you, Mr Kennett. Good morning, John. How are you? I'm exceptionally well. If I followed yours and John Thwaites and the ALP's view, I'd never get up in the morning. Well, I managed to I'd get up so, in the morning. I'd be so worried, so worried that there was a brick going to fall out of the building that I passed beside. Well, no, that's not the guiding philosophy here, and you will know that, of no, course. Now, rubbish, later today... Rubbish. You're well, it's not rubbish. You're negative. You're Absolutely so, not. You and the ALP are a good partnership. No, it's, it's... Thank God you're not running the state. It's the role of an independent no, broadcaster no, to ask not. questions and no. to require no, answers no, on behalf it, of the but public. you can be positive. You can just have one glimmer of hope in your day that this is going to be a good day, that you're going to take something and create something that is good, rather than looking at something and saying, how can I make it smaller? How can I shrivel it up? Ten minutes to seven on 774. ABC Melbourne, John Fane with you. Right through the evening with the ABC continuing to provide you with emergency updates for as long as we required on this dreadful Saturday, February the 7th. Like every other Victorian, I remember that day and turned on the radio like everybody else and of course there he was and uh, it, I mean you know he was in there I, I don't know how many hours it was but it uh, might have been 24 it might have been 48 it seemed uh, every time I turned on the radio there he was. John Fain with you in the South Bank studios we have 11 fires under observation across Victoria and the ABC will continue to bring you information throughout the night 
continuously and into tomorrow. As I'm speaking, the DSE are issuing an urgent threat message for the Murrindindi Mill fire, which is burning in the Mount Disappear State Forest. I've been answering phones for a couple of hours here, and I can tell you, uh, Rochelle and Greg, uh, there are people ringing up saying, I live in such and such an area and I don't know what to do. A very upsetting text message, King Lake fires, our house has burnt, everyone's hiding at the pub, no fire trucks anywhere. When Jill Ma died, uh, I've never seen um, that uh, that station in, in, in that way. It was just the saddest, saddest time for everybody in there, clearly. And uh, I remember, I think probably everybody in the city, John's um, beautiful uh, response. And, and that's the kind of thing where you just, you just don't know how somebody is capable of doing something like that. Um, something that is affecting him personally, that is affecting all the people that he works with and cares about so deeply, uh, but he's the one that actually has to sit behind a microphone and talk. Not a good morning. Friday, September the 28th. Our thoughts go out this morning to Tom Ma, to Jill's parents, to all of her family, her friends, our colleagues here at the ABC and the extended ABC family, which includes so many people, and we are being inundated this morning with expressions of goodwill and condolences and something else as well, which we'll try to define and ask you to help us define this morning. John, good luck. Uh, I'm sure you're going to approach uh, this uh, next phase of your life with the same enthusiasm and uh, attention to detail as you've approached your broadcasting career and uh, it's going to be really exciting. You'll be missed. Uh, thank you. I feel in a sense that what I'm doing now is writing him a reference for whatever he goes on to. and. I ask myself, how well do we ever really know anybody? Good luck. John, I just want to say I admire you so much. All those years working for the ABC, shackled, not allowed to have an opinion, hiding those opinions, and I know now that you want to get them out there, so 96900 693, give me a call. Seriously, good luck, well done, great career. Enjoy retirement, but do give me a call.